Hello, I'm Emma from Doodle Sew and Press Atom, and today I'm just going to do a quick craft tutorial about how to use different types of ribbon and what you can do with it. So most people just use ribbon to line the corner of a card or just add that extra little bit of flair or to do bows, but a lot of people struggle with bows and we get asked a lot, how do you do them, how do you make nice bows? And also, how do you make the chocolate box bows? So an example of a normal bow is like this. So you can see at the bottom that's made of two different types of ribbon, an opaque orange ribbon and then a chiffony kind of green ribbon and they contrast lovely. The rest of the card is made from hot glue and gilding flakes around the edges. Another example of the use of ribbon is the ribbon at the bottom of this from another tutorial and that is done with just the ribbon stuck down to the bottom and then a nice chocolate box bow and it's just stuck on the back. So then that would go on the front of a card and that would make a lovely birthday topper. You can get all different kinds of ribbon. Here I have an example of wired ribbon. And then we have this Bertie Bows ribbon. This makes lovely bows and if you can get thick ribbon like this it does tie a lot nicer. We have very thin flimsy ribbon and we have again another example of wired ribbon. So I am going to show you how to tie a bow. I'm just going to use some normal ribbon and I'm just going to show you how to do a normal shoelace kind of bow like this one. The only difference with this one is uh, we tied two pieces of ribbon at the same time and then poofed it out to look nice. So start by making a loop that looks like the counter ribbon and pinch it at the bottom. You're then going to take your flimsy piece and pass it over the top of your thumb so it looks like that. Once you've passed it through you're going to poke it back through that hole. Then pull your loops and twiddle with it until you're happy with the shape. And there's your ribbon. You'd cut the ends off and make them have pretty bow edges by cutting little triangles into them. So again, if I just show you, you'd start with a loop and pinch it at the bottom, pass it over your thumb, through the hole, and then twiddle with it until you're happy. And if you're not happy, you pull it out and start again. Learning to make good bows takes time. You can use a bow maker, but we tend not to here. But uh, if you sit with a piece of ribbon while you're watching telly, you know, catching up on the soaps, and you can sit twiddling bows, and uh, after a while, you end up just being able to do the perfect bow every time. So, that's just a normal bow. You can then twist your edges round. Ribbon will twist one way nicely and easily. So you can twist your edges, put your bow in the middle, and stick it to your card. And all I've done is just twist it around my fingers like that. Then... Now I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate box bow. Chocolate box bows look really complicated, but I've got a really good cheat. So for sticking ribbon, you can use tape pens, and they work just fine. Or you can use sticks to uber tacky tape, and it is very, very strong, but you have to cut it. So for speed for the video, I'm going to use a tape pen. Tape pens come in all shapes and sizes, and mine is a really itty bitty one, because it was the first one I picked up. But it can just be a normal tape pen, that's fine too. So all I've got is some offcuts of ribbon, so there is no waste, green spotty. And all I'm going to do is put a little line of tape on one end. So that's all I've done. And then I'm going to stick that over the other piece. And we have a loop. Then to that loop, I'm going to add a bit more on the inside. And I'm going to push my finger down to the centre. So now you have one bit of ribbon that's just stuck down in the middle. I'm going to repeat, repeat sorry, this process three times with the ribbon that's getting smaller each time. So again I'm just going to stick the ribbon down, stick it to itself, and stick it in the middle, and push it down. So now we have two. One more to go. So I'm going to do the same again. 
I'm using a couple of applications of tape just to make sure it stays stuck down so I'm not arguing with it on the video. So I've stuck it down and I'm going to put a little bit more on again in the middle and push it down. So I've made it so each ribbon is getting smaller each time. So now we have three bits left on one extra bit. I could use this extra bit to do another one but I'm just going to stick to three. Now, going in height order, so biggest first, I'm going to put a bit of tape in the middle and then I'm just going to stick one on top of the other. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Bit of tape in the middle and one on top of the other. Okay, so all we've done is we've taken our ribbon, made it into a loop, stuck it down, repeated that times three, and then put them one on top of the other, and this is what we've been left with. Now with our last piece of ribbon, I'm going to cut a little bit off. So I'm using Tim Holtz tonic scissors, and they're brilliant, we all have a pair, and we all love them. I'm just going to cut it so it's like square. It doesn't matter if it frays slightly, because it'll be hidden. And I'm only cutting a small piece. So that's all I've cut. And all it's going to do is go around the middle. So I'm going to show you how to stick that down. So you start by turning it over so you've got the biggest bit on the bottom. And in the middle, you're just going to put a little bit of glue. Then stick it down. Pass it over the top of your bow. And then you have a bit left underneath. Put some more glue over the top of your middle bit. So it sticks straight. And voila. A lovely chocolate bow ribbon. Chocolate box ribbon, sorry. So you can play with it and fiddle with it until you're happy. And then once you've done it, you can poof all your bits up or you can squish them all back down again. So it sticks on the card how you want it. But now, that is ready to stick on any kind of card. You can put it sideways on, on top of another piece of ribbon, like I've done here. And with the other bows, you can tie as many pieces of ribbon together as you want at a time. So now that you have the basic skills, you can go and play and find out how you like to use them best. So, it's a double bow. So it's all the same sorts of things, it's just playing with them until you're happy with it. And remember, it's ribbon, so there's no waste. You can always use the other little bits.